five. What's wrong? Lindenberg has fallen silent. But that's impossible! Orpheus did not protect the city as well as we had hoped. Wind! Tell me what whispers you hear. <gasps> hmm. The vermin are nearly upon us. Simone! Stop this! I am not going to allow you to abuse the power of the spirits! You speak as if you have a chance to stop Lord Zion's plan. <laughs> I'm afraid you are mistaken.
How did you do this? The space-time crystal has no effect. Good thing we have Victor's interference device. <laughs> if you believe that will stop me from crushing you all, you are sadly mistaken. I will never forgive you for taking my child from me. You will pay for his suffering with your blood. And so, the murderous face of the one that destroyed my dear Orpheus is revealed. The truth is revealed at last. I am, or rather was, Simone Liedbulk, the mother of Orpheus. Fourteen years ago, I left my son Orpheus and my newborn Michelle to fulfill my destiny as a moon spirit messenger. But my work as a spirit messenger could never fill the void of the family I left behind. I missed them greatly. When I learned of my husband's death and Michelle's illness, my heart ached. And it was during that time Lord Zion came to me, promising that if I abandoned my calling and did his bidding, he would cure my children's afflictions. Thus... So that is when you fled the shrine? I could not betray a mother who put her children's lives ahead of her own. But mother, don't you see? Now that Michelle's illness is cured, there's no need for you to follow Zion. Michelle is... is cured? Yes, yes, that's what I'm saying. You don't need to fight for Zion any longer. But what about you, Orpheus? You need the medicine. I will not lend aid to evil just so I can spare my own life. If Father were here, you know he would say the same. You're right, Orpheus. You have become as wise as your father. I will not serve Zion any longer.
Thanks to your efforts, I did not have to end Simone's life to stop her. I know it may sound strange, but when we first met, I could never have imagined it would turn out like this. I suppose this is what one would call a twist of fate. I... I don't know how to thank you properly. Without you, I might have lost my children forever. You have my gratitude as well. There will be time for celebration later. Our task now is to protect His Highness James. Yes, the cruelty we have seen is not the mark of James, but rather Zion. We must stop him. Yayoi, I owe you the biggest apology of all. Anyone else would have given up on me. Are you? That egomaniac must be stopped. He locked me in here and took control of my troops. Worst of all, he demanded I wear a sullied frock. That pint-sized menace is through the main door over there. But it's locked from the inside, no doubt. However, he doesn't know that there's a secret passage behind one of the statues next to the door. Push the statue, and the way will open. All I ask is that you make that troll suffer for the indignities he has relished keeping on me. This might seem obvious, but why didn't you just use the transfer gate to escape? It was another mind game that Mental Case played with me, locking me in a dreary room with a transfer gate, but without the pendant needed to activate it. <laughs> I was not amused. But that's neither here nor there at the present. You must squash that bug before he spreads his poor taste and vile disposition across the world. What an unpleasant surprise, but I suppose a fool and his soul is soon parted. Ah, yes, but which of you will risk your soul to deliver them? Just in time? For what? Witness to my ultimate victory? Only two souls remain to be collected to achieve 50,000 required for the ritual. Of course, that is easily remedied. Now everything is in place for the solar eclipse.
Abusing the dark power can destroy the world we all share. Have not enough people been sacrificed to fuel your naked ambition? The imperfections of this world that require suppression of spirit power are not to be ignored. I am the only one strong enough to see the problems and wield spirit power to correct them. Any sacrifices made pale compared to the benefit you will witness once I claim my birthright. Even though only a few months have passed, I still recall the glorious sensation of murdering you. Who says manners are dead? Let's see what you've got. Your efforts to silence me are worthless. If you destroy this body, I will simply inhabit another. You cannot win. Slain! Call on the spirits to use the control spell now! This is impossible! Imagine that! We've won! The world is saved! Our efforts have at last paid off! We need to take the vase to Dark Mountain! <laughs> <laughs> 